Okay, here we have a 80 gig Western Digital hard drive that came in for a recovery. Uh, customer reported that the drive was clicking. Uh, we did go through and test this drive. Um, it's definitely a bad set of heads. Uh, we've well, there's a few tests that we can run on the drive in order to verify for sure if that's uh, indeed what the problem is. Sometimes it can be an issue with the system area of the drive, uh, but everything seems to to check out well there. I'll go ahead and start the drive up just so you can hear. Um, exactly what it is. It may be something that you've heard before with your own drive, uh, but here is what we're getting from this one. You hear that steady clicking and what these drives will typically do is they'll power down, they'll spin down just a, a little bit after a few clicks and then spin back up and start clicking again. And I'll go ahead and power that off. And that's pretty common with Western Digital hard drives. Uh, so what this is going to require is for us to go into the clean room and uh, swap the heads with another um, parts drive and see if we can get the data that way. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, so we have our 80 gig hard drive here. Um, got it in the clean room. Uh, got a good parts match here. Basically what we need to do when we match parts here is we need to definitely get the same model number drive um, and with Western Digital, some of the older ones, um, we need to match this DCM as uh, best we can too. Typically uh, with the fourth and fifth letter uh, alphanumeric within that code, um, and even some of the bigger drives though, you definitely need to have a complete match on them. Um, we also try to get them pretty close to the same manufacturing date as well. So we will go through and uh, start the process of disassembling um, the drive that's bad. First thing we typically do is go through and if you get your drive back, you may notice that there's an X on the back. That just makes sure that we keep this logical board uh, intact with the original drive. There's actually um, uh, memory stored on this drive that is that contains adaptives that are unique to this particular drive. So we need to make sure that we keep this together. As you may have uh, watched on our uh, one of our other videos, the noise you hear in the background is actually the air rushing through uh, our clean room environment here, and that is uh, that's the noise you hear in the background. These drives are very fragile. And you got to be really careful how you do some of this stuff. Take off the top magnet. need to do is move the heads off of the parking area just slightly so that we can remove this limiter. This, removing this limiter will actually allow us to be able to slide the heads off of the platter. Okay, now we have the heads removed from the platters, and we will go ahead and remove the bottom screw that holds the heads in place. And now we can lift the heads off of the uh, Now we'll start disassembling our parts drive. And we basically go through the same uh, exact process again uh, with this drive as we did with the original drive so we can extract the heads. And again we just repeat the process. Remove the magnet. Move 
the hedge just out of the parking area so that we can remove the limiter. And typically when you hear a drive clicking, what you're hearing is, is the armature slapping against that limiter, either one way or the other, but typically it's, it's just knocking against that limiter is what it's doing. And from inside the drive, it's just the head sweeping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to find, some people call it the zero track, Basically what it's trying to do is find the information it needs within the system area of the drive in order to allow it to calibrate properly. That's why sometimes when a drive is clicking it's not necessarily a mechanical problem as there is some corruption within the system area itself that's keeping the drive from functioning as it normally should. It's very important when doing a head swap not to let the heads come in contact with each other. So we have ways to avoid that. Okay. And offload the heads. And now we reverse the process of putting the drive back together. And then we can load the heads on. Place the top magnet. These magnets are extremely strong, so you have to be really careful with them. Not only will they pinch you when they come together, but you can also damage the heads if you're not careful. There's a certain area they just have to snap down into, so you have to be really cautious about how you do that. That's that. The internal components of our drive are reassembled, and at this point I'll go ahead and replace the case cover, um, replace the logic board, and we will test it out and start imaging hopefully. Okay, we have our Western Digital uh, hard drive reassembled. It's the one on the left there. We have it set up on our imaging station. Basically what we're going to do is, uh, if everything works right, where you're going to go through and power the drive up and clone it onto uh, the drive there on the right. So we'll go ahead and apply power to the drive. And you'll notice there's uh, no more clicking at this point. And right now I'm just watching on our screen here waiting for the drive to come ready. Showing is busy right now. Sometimes when you replace the heads, actually it takes it a little while. Sometimes the drive will actually function uh, in somewhat of a degraded state, uh, especially with these drives where the head alignment might be um, uh, not exactly like it was before. Uh, okay, it's showing ready now, and we'll go through and rescan all the drives connected and see if it shows up. And it does. There is our 80 gig drive, and uh, from this point, we will go through and clone it onto our uh, uh, destination drive and then do the recovery for our customer from there. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you have any questions about our services, you can give us a call 1-800-717-8974 uh, or you can visit us on our website. It's at www.acsdata.com. Uh, we do not charge any evaluation fees to look at drives and we do not charge anything if the data is not recoverable. Uh, we also don't charge anything additional for any parts or labor or anything like that. It's uh, flat rate pricing depending on the size of the drive and the type of failure. So if you have any questions or you lost some data, uh, feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. Have a great day.